Yo, 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 this is your boy JSF. So, I just want to do a quick video about breakaway. And I know I'm not breaking away anything right now. I'm just doing shit and jumping around. But, um, just want to say basically, breakaway needs to be fixed. And I know it's not really a fix because it hasn't been changed yet. So, they don't consider it broken. They don't consider it done wrong but breakaway is fundamentally incorrect it's wrong breakaway needs to be fixed and the reason it needs to be fixed is because in fighting games and this is just a general fighting game thing you should never ever you should never ever damn it I screwed it up look just watch this just watch this I'm, I'm gonna give this shit right You see how it said punish? You see how it said punish? Ooh, just watch. Damn, my breakaway just didn't come out. All right, bet. Damn, why do I not know how to break away? Hold up. Yeah, there we go, right there. Basically, you can punish people right there how did I just said punish damn I'm really bad at this right now but how did I just said punish right there basically you can punish people if you do your breakaway at the right time and I don't think that's that's not a secret like that's not uh, a secret at all all right wait what's the There's a timing on this. There's a timing on this. I don't know the timing. There we go. That, that's the timing. That's the timing. <laughs> so, if you break away at the right time and they, they finish their combo string or do a certain special move that's super unsafe on whiff, they're suddenly punishable on a hit. And there's no situation in any fighting game where you should be punishable for landing a hit. Like, the whole point of a fighting game, the whole point is to hit your opponent. The whole point. And to, you know, make them take damage, drain their life bar, get them down to zero HP. You gotta hit them. You should never be punished for doing what you're supposed to do. Like, it's the whole point of the game. Hey, beat him up to, be to win. Your job as player one is to beat up player two and then win. Now, your reward for beating up player two is, oh, he has two bars of defensive meter, so he's going to break away and then full combo you just because, just because. And, like, it doesn't seem like a big deal in this instance, but there are some characters who can do, like, 30% unbreakable. Some characters can do more than that. Like, even Frost, and she, I don't think she's that good, but Frost can do, like, 25% unbreakable into a potential reset where I might throw you, I might do a mid, I might do a low type deal, you know? Like, and that's just if I'm facing a character like Sub-Zero or a character like Frost who has a combo string. Like, Sub-Zero's main, like, combo string, you can break out. Like, even Frost, this is her main. I'm, I don't know why I'm acting like I don't know Sub Zero combos. Yeah, like that. But when Frost hurt, or with Sub Zero on me. Like, you can break right out of that. What I just did with Sub Zero. And that's like his main uh, B and B. Like, it just is. Hold on. I, I don't need to show anything, but I'm just saying like I feel like this should be changed like this shouldn't exist Like I thought this would be patched out a long time ago Which is why I've never made a video about it because I thought it would be changed so long ago I thought it would have been patched out When the major balance changes, but they never did it like breakaway should be slower have more recovery Whatever you got to do, but I should never for landing a hit and comboing somebody, I shouldn't be able to be punished for that. Like, that just shouldn't exist. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't make any sense. And I know that there are five or six moves in the history of fighting games that are punishable on hit, and that's, like, the functionality of the move. But I still think those moves are bad. Like, 
I still think those are shitty moves. I don't think that shit exists. Like, I think that's a gimmick that developers need to stay away from. Punishable on hit shouldn't be a thing. Like, the whole point of the game is for me to hit you. If I hit you and I get punished for hitting you, like, imagine somebody trying to learn a fighting game and they, they go through that. They're like, I hit him. Why can't I block anymore? Like, I hit him. Why is he doing stuff to me? Like, why is he pressing buttons and I can't block? You know what I mean? Or like I hit him and now I can't press anything? Like what? It it just throws off your whole learning process. It throws off your whole development of learning the game. Like it's just it's just a bad it's just bad game design. That's the best way I know how to describe it. And I'm not trying to say like, oh, I can design a better game or I'm a fighting game designer, but it's just certain things what I see or hear, I just I just question it. I'm like, why would you do that? Like, I don't understand. Like, why would you put this in the game? I understand uh, uh, Breakaway. I get it. Combo Breakers have been in Mortal Kombat for a long time. The The first time I noticed was in MK vs. DC, but they were in the games before that. I think they were in uh, Deadly Alliance, Mortal Kombat 5, I think. Don't quote me on that. But I'm just saying, there have been Breakers of some form. Injustice 2 had a, a air attacking, you know what I mean, which you could break out of an air combo. So this is like a mix between combo breakers and air attacking. I know why it exists, but in Justice 2, you cannot air attack and then punish somebody. Like, you couldn't do it. It didn't exist. There was so much recovery on air attacking, whether you did up or back, you couldn't, like, air attack and then you're plus. Like, it didn't exist. You were always negative. You had to air attack and then just block or hope you didn't get punished for it because it was punishable to do. If they're mid-combo and you tech out, you're out of the combo, but it's unsafe because if he does a certain string, he can end it and then still hit you before you can recover. In this game, it's not just safe. It's plus. Like, <laughs> you, you break away... Hey, guess what? You're at advantage now. You spent two bars. You got hit, spent two bars. You got a free combo. It's nuts. Like, that That just needs to be changed. And I don't want to just, you know, I don't want to spend the whole video trying to show breakaway combos. That's why I just showed a couple. Because I'm going to screw them up because I'm talking so much. But, yeah. I just think breakaway needs to be fixed. Needs to be changed. You should not be able to break away and, um... You should not be able to break away and punish people. Like, wait, no. Here, wow, that was uh, interesting. <laughs> wow. Now I don't know how to play Sub Zero. Yeah, right there. How that's a punish shouldn't exist. That's all I'm saying. So please, I hope someone in another realm fixes breakaway. I, at least this is my personal opinion. If you guys are okay with how Breakaway is currently, this is just another thing that I forgot to mention when I was talking about my other gripes with the game. Like, this is another thing that I think is like a big problem because if you play one of these characters, like Sub Zero, you have to do certain combos that they can't break away, and um, and punish you from. You know, sacrifice a little bit of damage, and he doesn't get the best damage in the world anyway, unless you're playing Dead of Winter, which I don't play. And it's just like with Frost, you can't end your combos in Drill because you can get punished for it. Because Drill is super unsafe on whiff. Like, it's super unsafe on whiff. It's crazy. So, yeah. Um, Y'all disagree? If y'all do agree, leave a comment. Let me know. Please subscribe. Have a good one.